Today they will be auctioning off two of his most famous paintings to curate funding for the National General Hospital here in Sri Lanka. And now I'm with Dr. Arjuna Fernando, who is the CEO of the Stroke Support Organization of Sri Lanka. Hi, doctor. Hi. All right. So tell me a little bit about uh, the Stroke Support Organization. What exactly is it? Yeah, it, it is an organization uh, set up approximately five years ago uh, to help patients with their recovery, uh, with uh, social reintegration, following the stroke. So there is a lot that happens uh, from discharge to social integration. So the SSOSA law, the Stroke Support Organization is, is an organization, organization aimed at uh, accelerating that process. Yeah. All right, so uh, what is the affiliation of the Stroke Support Organization with Revive? Yeah, we are uh, basically partnering with the JP Foundation uh, to raise funds in order to help uh, Ward 16 of the National Hospital. Ward 16 houses the stroke unit of the National Hospital. So it is uh, something very close to all stroke survivors. So they all, all in unison, they agree to support any cause that will raise funds to help Ward 16. That is a really wholesome cause. Thank you so much. I'm now with Aurelia Collard, who is the cultural attaché at the Embassy of France here in Colombo. Hi. Hello. Hello. Lovely meeting you. I have to say you have fantastic energy and you're so bubbly. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So I want to ask you about your role as a cultural attaché and of course the relationship between the Embassy of France and uh, the Jayanta Premachandra Foundation. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, so I work at the cultural service of uh, the Embassy of France. So we oversee kind of the cultural projects that take place between uh, French and Sri Lankan artists. And of course, Jayanta Premachandra being a Sri Lankan artist that has lived in France, it meant total sense for us to kind of um, support this initiative and this foundation. <laughs> All right, so um, I, I'm really curious to find out now. Uh, it has been over 33 years since we had uh, seen the work of the late uh, Jayanta Premachandra. Uh, what has it been like being uh, possibly the first cultural attaché to take control of something like this? Well, it all came uh, from Nilanka, who uh, actually wanted to take this initiative forward and to revive, as uh, it's the, whole, the sole purpose of this event, uh, to uh, revive the legacy of Jayanta Pramachandra. So she came up to us and initially it came as an exhibition. She wanted to do an exhibition and uh, we're trying to see how we could uh, do, put it forward. And then with the accident of uh, her mother, it was also something like a, a spark for her to, to launch this new initiative to do first an uh, art auction before uh, taking it forward in the form of an exhibition, which we hope to uh, to do as well. And we'll be, of course, there to support her and to, uh, to yes, to be supportive in this. So lastly, I want to know, now today they are only auctioning off two of his paintings and chances are there will be more events and there'll be more activations around the great giant, the Premachandra. Do you wish to be a part of that as well? Is the embassy uh, planning on? Yes, of course. We'll be always there to support and to uh, to yes, support the legacy of Jayanta Premachandra and the Lankas Foundation is doing a marvelous work to uh, to do so and uh, we'll be in any form. There's also uh, the project of a catalogue that has been uh, also thought and we, we could think of uh, publishing it in France and as well and to do uh, like a collect collective um, catalogue in France. Uh, so there's a lot of different projects that this legacy could uh, take the form of and uh, we have a lot to contribute to, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm excited for that. 
thank you us too <laughs> all right thank you so much you've been so lovely <laughs> thank you thank you for being here with us tonight <laughs> And now I have with me Randi Nilavira, who is, of course, the granddaughter of uh, Chanta Prema Chandra. Randi, can you tell me a little bit about what it has been like to grow up with the legacy of your grandfather? Actually, I never got to meet my grandfather. He passed away about 33 years ago. Uh, but what we're trying to do right now is to revive his art and, um, you know, make people more aware of all the achievements and um, make people aware of all his different types of art. So yeah, right now that's what we're trying to do. And uh, you were also a part of the Jayanta Premachandra Foundation. Uh, what exactly is the foundation doing right now? So as a foundation, we, we go as a charity foundation and we would like to obviously uh, serve to more charity organizations and also to promote and support uh, the upcoming artists, Sri Lankan artists actually, and yeah. That sounds fantastic. I'm hoping that everything works out for the better. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And now I have with me Dr. Sarat Amanugama, who happened to be a close friend of the late Jayanta Premachandra. Can you tell me a little bit about what your relationship was like with uh, Jayanta Premachandra? I can't really say that I was a close friend, but I uh, knew him and I knew of him because he was uh, one of the uh, younger artists in the 60s uh, who came from uh, Haywood, that is our school of art. And after that, he was involved in design, particularly in batik paintings and so on. But he, I think he really flowered out as an artist after he went to France. You can see in his line, in colour and everything, there's an explosion of uh, his, you know, uh, abstract vision. So I would say that he's, he really evolved from the earlier uh, you know, batik uh, and that culture into something very Western and uh, it, he's really uh, one of the exciting artists uh, that we have or uh, we should be collecting. Definitely. Do you think that uh, he developed his own art style going forward or do you think it was a mix of different things that he experienced in his lifetime? No, he, uh, most artists evolve uh, as they the experience but he had uh, more experiences than an artist who would live out his life in one country in one home like that you know because he was there then he went to Russia then he went to Scandinavian countries and then uh, he lived in France so of all our artists he's the one who has had all these uh, influences varying influences and that shows in his art and speaking of his art do you have a favorite piece I know everything is, you know, just incredible to look at. But do you personally have a favorite? I haven't looked at all those things, that great detail. But I'm sure there's going to be an exhibition. And, uh, you know, too early for me to say which I like most. But the two paintings that were on offer today, there's been a good demand. So I feel there should be an exhibition where a larger number of people come and see this and uh, enjoy it and also uh, if they are interested, they can buy it for perpetuity. Yeah, and I'm hoping the same. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
and now I have with me uh, Nilanka Premachandra, who is the daughter of the late Jayanta Premachandra, who we are celebrating right here at the Golf Face Hotel. Hi. 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 All right. So tell me, um, what exactly was the reason behind Revive? Well, Revive had uh, two objectives. Uh, one was to, revi uh, to revive uh, Jayanta Premachandra uh, as an artist, who was my father, who passed away uh, in 1988. Uh, in Paris and the second reason was uh, to auction two of his paintings um, to support the neurological services at the general hospital um, helping the stroke patients and uh, well that's it all this because uh, my father passed away uh, with a stroke and my mother uh, also suffers uh, at the moment because of a stroke um, so uh, I combine both so that I can help um, the needy people at the general hospital who come to the general hospital uh, you know um, and the the hospital is in need of a lot of refurbishments basically um, I guess we all can support uh, the cause and help the general public uh, actually it's it's for the general public you know there are a lot of people suffering uh, lack of space uh, uh, lack of facilities um, so I guess and the staff of the general hospital is fabulous uh, so they are doing a great job uh, only thing is that they lack of facilities so I think it's our duty to help uh, so this is this was my way of doing it um, so uh, we have auctioned two paintings of uh, Jayanta Premachandra, uh, my father, um, to support this worthy cause. And uh, I, uh, I'm sure you will announce the amount for which it went for. And so all the funds will go to help uh, the hospital. Okay, so I was at this event and it went splendidly. And I found out that you have managed to raise a considerable amount of money. How much is that exactly? Well, uh, we it went over a, for over a million. So I'm so so happy, and this is the first time I'm uh, really after after 33 years. This is the first time I've I, actually I've uh, given a painting of my father away because I've been quite possessive about my father's paintings, and. Um, <laughs> But I, I think this was for the for the very best of uh, uh, of everybody and for a worthy cause. Thank you so much. Definitely a worthy cause. Thank you so much. And this was incredible. <laughs>